I uh, thought and have been thinking of all my friends of Jewish faith um, in the last, since Sunday, and though he doesn't bang on about it, um, a guy's featured on the program a bit and is a kindred spirit in terms of uh, attitude to some uh, news stories and current events, Avi Yemeni from Rebel News. And I see that Avi, or I saw in the last couple of days, uh, that Avi was heading to Israel. Um, I thought it would be really good to figure out what is going on there and talk to him, so he joins us now. Avi, how are you, mate? Hey, go, mate. Thanks for having me on. Where are you? I'm sitting in an Airbnb in Jerusalem. Um, I'm smashed after a long, long trip. But to be fair, you know, if you're willing to talk about this issue that Severin is scared to talk about, um, then I'd make it a priority to be here. Uh, Avi, you're of Jewish faith, faith yourself? Uh, yeah, well, heritage, I don't know how much I believe in it, but yeah, I, I am. Yeah. Uh, you must have been, you must have been so gutted then to see people gathering on the steps of the Sydney Opera House chanting, Gas the Jews. Well, yeah, uh, look, on any day that would be pretty you know, hard to watch as a Jew or anyone with a heart um, or anyone who has any knowledge of history and knows what they're referring to. But I think, uh, like, I know me personally and I know pretty much anyone from my community um, or anyone from Israel or anyone that watched what unfolded over the weekend last Saturday um, in Israel and the horrors... Um, that that the, the attack, the brutality, the you know the butchering, the hunting, the butchering, the raping, the maiming, the beheading, um, the kidnapping, and the, the horrors are still going. And then you know after not having not ha after not having slept for days because of that. And I know in Australia I was I was tossing up about coming here to do this because I wasn't sleeping myself. I was just stuck glued to my phone, yeah. um, following each and every little thing and seeing what, what was happening. And then to hear after all that, that somehow this mob, um, which were, make, make no mistake, they were hunting Jews in Sydney, um, were there chanting freely in front of the police, the same police that warned Jews not to be in the area for their own safety. And a group of young um, men in Melbourne have been arrested after riding around supposedly looking for Jews to kill. That's right. So um, it's a pretty shameful time. I think, you know, not not only here in Israel and, and with what's going on here, but I think it's it's exposed a really dark and ugly, um, you know, growing issue in the in, in our community back home. Yeah. And Avi, I hate to tell you, I'll just interrupt you here and here and even amongst the, the platform audience. I've just got a text from someone who, of course is gutless and anonymous. It says, Avi is a Zionist. His opinion is irrelevant, Sean. Will you be happy watching the Israelis murder tens of thousands of innocent Palestinians in the coming months? Will that make you happy? So we've got the idiots here, Avi, and in fact, the leader of one of the co-leaders of the Green Party said on television she believes the Israeli Defence Force should be designated a terrorist group. Yeah, well, I think she should go and preach all her lovely ideology in Gaza City, and let's see how long she lasts. You know, the, the funny thing is the one place that she'd be able to um, spew her nonsense would be in Israel when, it, when you're talking about the Middle East. So, yeah. um, you know, I, I've, I've heard all that nonsense my whole life, but um, we've learnt to, you know, that's, that's probably why I have thick skin, Sean, because yeah. my whole life I've had to justify why... I defend the only Jewish state and, um, you know, no, with one group it's about the fact that you go, okay, let's look thousands of years of history and with the other group you're saying, okay, you know, you guys don't like looking at thousands of years of history so let's look at recent his history where people tried to wipe us off the map and we won every single time and now you're upset we win. Um, and this week it's, not, it's nothing about that. You're talking about the Gaza Strip, which is not even occupied anymore. No, no. Um, Israel, Israel disengaged in 2005 for peace. The irony, 
Um, and today, you know, what you saw, if, you, if you're standing there and you're, you're on the side of um, rape and, and murder and kidnapping kids and, um, you know, taking them and uh, some of the videos where you see them parading them around Gaza mm. or little kids where they're giving little Jewish kids, they're taking them into Gaza to give to little Palestinian kids for them to be their toys to bully, literally to film and put online. Like, if, if that's the side you're on, there and 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 if you find any justification for that, then that's on you. That's not on me. Mm. I know where I stand when it comes to the only Jewish state. Of course, I would. I, I've always, you know, I twenty years ago, I I fought and bled for this country, and I was willing to die to to defend her. But um, I, it's about common decency, and it's about yeah. what's right and wrong, and, and it's about standing up against evil wherever you see it, and that, that is the true evil, like what you're seeing here, where people, um, you know, where, where for them, um, the, there is no limit, and, and, and I guess the more shocking part is, like the Greens, like people that talk about standing up anti-racism groups and where you see them. You, you, the, when you were talking about the Sydney Steps the other night, yeah. there's a video that shows that you had the Socialist Alliance there marching in that group, in that same group, and these are like the Antifa guys, the ones that harp on about being anti-racist and anti-fascist and they'll yeah. smash fascism wherever it is and punch a Nazi. All those guys they suddenly, when they actually in front of them and alongside them, the people they're marching with were talking about inciting the, you know, inciting the murder, the mass murder of one of the biggest, min one of the biggest minorities on yeah. the planet. 